So the ice has been cleared of eight million cuddly toys that were thrown on to acknowledge the brilliant uh, last three quarters of uh, Yazoru Hanyu's routine. The first part where he missed the two quads, of course, not counting. This man has all the composure to be able to take all that in his stride, seen it all before. He won in Skate Canada. There's no doubt that uh, the gold medal awaits him here. Patrick Chan of China getting the focus. Quadruple toe, triple toe loop to start. And again, second quadruple toe loop. So strong, you can see the strength in the takeoff and the landing, triple axle there, beautiful. Top of Triple Salco. Triple Oaks on its own. He is skating absolutely stunningly. Whereas Yazuru Hanyu is a boy, this is, with all due respect, this is a man skating. Even at the age of 22. It's powerful. Still very young. Double axle. Beautiful step sequence.
that was wondrous. Patrick Chan of Canada. Many of the audience on their feet. Hope you're on your feet at home too. That was just uh, standing up here. Just absolutely fantastic. The strength and the softness. All the skaters just acknowledging they're seeing a master at work. Look at that technical score, but gosh. So his best is 280.98. That's a combined score, which is the highest score ever by a man in world figure skating. And that was just amazing. What are the judges going to do here? Kathy Johnson just seeing all the work come to fruition. Octavio Cinquanto himself thinking it was pretty darn good. I'm just watching quadruple toe loop. It's, it's, he's perfect with technique, perfect with skating, technique, everything. He must, I mean, he's, he, he's just gonna be reeling those points in. There was one on the, the Lutz combination. His weight was just a little bit back. He just changed it, just but it altered it matter. slightly, just, and he made it work. Yeah, he always does. It doesn't matter where he is, he's strong. He's, you can see how strong he is on the takeoff and the landings. He's just there every time. Completely round, no doubt at all. There you go, leaning forwards, but he pulls the leg out, and he pulls himself back up. And he had to work hard here too, in the half loop, and... Amazing, he's just... And he fights for the landing, makes sure the landing works, it's the experience. But also his, his edge work, he builds such speed, doesn't he? So easy and strong. Well, Mike, as we said, He's done it all. He's already got 15 points in the bank from Skate Canada. And it is a masterclass to watch. It really is. Just the movement out of it, the transitions. It's like I've said before, you know, I think when we saw him skate yesterday, the transitions, it's, everything is a transition. There are, uh, it's just basically a program full of transitions from one movement to the next. There is no basic skating, as in crossovers or just skating forwards or backwards. Very little, minimal. And that's what makes him so different. So the highest score that's ever been scored by a man, 280. 0.98. His personal best on the long program, 187. He's beaten that. That is 295.27. That is 15 points higher than the highest score anybody has ever scored in the world. And that was you. So you've just done it again, breaking the records. Wow. Thank you, judges. Thank you, Patrick Chan. Just brilliant. Yeah. And people loving the marks, but I'm not sure if they know it's the record. Maybe they do. He said the other day, and he, and he broke another record. He said, oh, I wasn't quite sure it was a record. Wow. Fantastic event. It's been exciting across all the disciplines here with drama. But the icing on the cake from Mr. Chan. And there it is, confirmation. Look at that gap. And you, it would have been 20 points higher if it got those two quads. Jason Brown getting a well-deserved third place. The top two going to the final. Well, it's been great having, your, having you with us. Nikki Slater and Joanne Conway saying goodbye for now.